Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Okay. Can we talk about Drake real quick? Um, first of all, I'm not understanding like the drama behind this album. Okay, let me tell y'all something. How about, you know how I just did my video, uh, what was that, like two days ago on the whole uh, Drake versus Joe Budden. And I was getting my opinion, you know, just my opinion. I didn't say nothing mean, I didn't say nothing bad. So when I submitted everything, everything was approved. It was monetized. I'm like, yes, you know when you get that feeling like, oh my God, ooh, ooh, yeah, they're gonna monetize this video. Yes. So I'm like, okay, cool. Went to sleep. Tell me why I woke up the next day. Not only was it demonetized, they put a child restriction on my shit. So they suppressed my views. So I don't know what kind of hoodoo Drake got on, you know, social media. Like, everybody going to bat for him. But they literally demonetized and child restricted my video on Drake's album. And I didn't even say nothing bad about it. I was just giving my opinion, my honest opinion. So my thing is like, are we not allowed to talk about Drake? Like we can critique Nicki, we can critique Cardi, we can go in on Ice Spice, people can talk shit about Sexy Red. But when it comes to Drake, my video was age restricted. I'm like, there wasn't no nudity, there was nothing crazy. So I hit up my YouTube manager and I'm like, hey, why is my Drake video age restricted? When I went to bed, it was in the green. And they're like, oh, uh, profanity. What? What? I was like, profanity? Krishan and Blueface curse all the time in my videos and y'all don't get them for profanity. And they're like, oh yeah, Birdman was doing too much profanity. Now we know Birdman is a part of Young Money Cash Money. So I don't give a damn what nobody said. I feel like they went and reported that video because they're like, oh, well, we can't report it because Joe wasn't cussing. So we'll report it because Birdman, who's part of Young Money Cash Money, is in the video. Yeah, they said because Birdman was cussing that they child restricted my video. Really? Really, Drake? So I don't know, man. But yeah, so in order to watch my video, you have to log in to watch it. It totally suppressed my views because it was getting ready to hit like close to like. When I went to bed, it was like at close to like 40,000. Probably would have hit 100,000, but it's totally suppressing the algorithm. And I'm not making no money off of it. So that was a waste of fucking six hours worth of editing. So thank you, OVO, Drake, Drake's daddy, the Birdman, whoever flagged my shit. So yeah, it, it's just, you know, whatever. Drake is so sassy. So, but I'm, we about to go in on his daddy. So um, Mr. Dennis... Let me share my screen. We're about to talk about Mr. Dennis. He is currently beefing with old haters. He's calling Joe and other people a bunch of old haters. So let me share my screen really quick here. Give me just a second. Mr. Graham. All right. Y'all see him. That is Drake's daddy. Okay. So Drake's daddy has some words for Joe Budden and other old haters. Okay. Okay. This is what Mr. Dennis says. He says, it's a fucking shame. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Where's my tiny violin, bitch? Hold on. Grab my damn tiny violin from Mr. Dennis, okay? <laughs> so he says, it's a fucking shame that young artist can't do his own thing and enjoy his glory without an old mother effing trying to bust his bubble because he has nothing going on. And to mention or to put a limit on what age anyone should be dealing with, which is none of your goddamn business, as long as they're of legal age, I'm sick of these old fucking haters fucking with my son. If you don't like what he does, keep it moving, motherfucker. <laughs> he ain't bothering you. <laughs> Child, Drake's daddy is mad, bitch. If you don't sit down, Mr. Dennis, first of all, so let me let me show y'all what I wrote on Instagram because I was very confused at him saying that his son, one, is a young artist. Let's start there, okay? Me and Drake are basically near the same age, okay? 
I know my age as a grown woman. I'm not, you know, I look young, but I'm not going to come on here and act like I'm 25 or some shit like that, right? So my thing is, like, what is young about Drake? Like, Drake is damn near, he's closer to 40 than he is 20. Drake will be, what, like 37 or 38, you know, like in like a week or two. Um, no, he's not a young artist. He's And he's lived, a, he's had like a, a long career, which is awesome. But no, your son is not a young artist. So anyways, this is what I wrote. Cause y'all know I don't I don't come on this Instagram page a lot. You know, ever since they took my shit, I don't come out here as much. But you know, I had to comment on this because I'm like, hold up now, wait. So this is what I wrote. I said, wasn't this the same deadbeat who left him and his mama and only came around once his son was famous? Mmm, all of y'all are grown as fuck, including your 37 year old young artist son. Okay, so that is what I had to say. I just feel like, you know, Drake needs to embrace his age and stop acting like, you know, he's Kai Sinat's age. You're not 21. And, you know, like I said in my video, he's old enough to be Kai Sinat's father. I don't know how y'all don't understand that, you know, there are some teen parents out here. So, yeah, we can have grown children, like I told the girl in the chat who said that I was over-exaggerating on Kai being Drake's child. His age, he's young enough to be Drake's child. Me and a lot of my friends were teenage parents, so we got kids in their 20s. So Drake could have had a kid as a teenager, and it could have been Kai Sinat's age. So that's not an over-exaggeration, you feel me? So I feel like, you know, at this point, his daddy needs to have several seats. I don't get, like, why all of a sudden nobody's allowed to critique Drake, okay? And the thing that kind of trips me out is with some of these artists, they only hear the bad. Like, literally... Half of my video was praising his music. Like, I really, y'all know, if y'all go back to my old videos, like 2016, 2017, I was like the biggest Drake fan. Put a teacup if y'all remember me saying there would be no Drake slander in my chat. I used to go so hard for Drake. I'm like, oh my God, I love his album. And I would go to his concerts. I took the boys to the Drake and Future concert. Like, I used to, you know what I mean? Like, I was a big fan of his music. You know what I mean? So, it's like, even when Joe Budden was giving his opinion, he was giving him props. He was like, yo, he's made so much music that I love, but this album just wasn't it. Why when celebrities, why when we have opinions as people in media, y'all only hear the bad? We can be like, damn, that song was a bop. I love that song. I know all the words. They don't hear that. But the second you're like, nah, I'm not really feeling this album. I'm not feeling the direction you're going. You're a fucking hater. And then here comes the dad cussing folks out. No, that, that's not cool. Because again, these female artists, people drag them all the time. Okay? From Sexy Red to Glorilla to Meg Thee Stallion to Cardi to Ice Spice. People drag these female artists all the time and they're just supposed to take it. Oh, well, that's a part of the game. Oh, well, toughen up. You want to be in a male-dominated industry and the females just got to take that shit on the chin, right? But why can't Drake take critique? Like, I don't understand that. Like, he's writing whole dissertations. He's upset and everything else. And um, I just, I don't think that Joe Budden said anything wrong. Yeah, Joe might have threw a bit of shade, but that's part of doing commentary. We're not just going to sit here. We're going to be funny. We're going to, you know, add a little bit of salt, you know what I'm saying, to the situation. We're going to add a little bit of sauce. But I just felt like he just takes stuff so personal and I don't care what nobody says. It had to be their peoples who flagged the video. Because I'm like, out of all the videos, it like it's one thing for it to get demonetized, right? Because I get demonetized all the time. I'm used to that. But when it gets age-restricted, like, you have to, like, literally, like, be hitting that this video is offending you. You know what I'm saying? So, child, it is what it is. I'm going to need Drake and his daddy to go have several seats. And the only reason why his daddy's talking shit, like, oh, he can talk to any age he wants to as long as it's legal. And I agree. There's nothing wrong with dating people who are younger than you, right? You know what I'm saying? Because young dudes come at me all the time. So, yeah, there's nothing wrong with dating younger, right, as long as they're legal. Um, but... Let's keep it real. Date uh, Drake's daddy, who's like in his 60s, also be dating chicks in his 20s. <laughs> so Drake's daddy is low-key talking about himself. Because I've seen him at like Cardi B's party. And I remember when I seen him, I was like, 
aren't you Drake's dad? He was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, it was just weird because I'm like, why is Drake's dad here? Just, you know. <laughs> so I met him in real life. He was nice. Don't get me wrong. He was nice. He's like, yeah, I'm Drake's dad. I'm like, oh, okay. Fancy meeting you here, sir. You know, so. Well, I don't know about the whole him texting a 14-year-old. We're not even going to go there, okay? I've seen, like, the little Drake stuff with Bobby Millie Brown and we're not even going to go there, okay? Like I said, as long as it's somebody, you know, of legal age, I don't care what people do. But, no, I don't condone him texting a 14-year-old. I think that's weird if he's really texting 14-year-olds. But, yeah, I think, like, the daddy was saying that because he knows he be hollering at, like, 20-something-year-olds, too. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm Drake. You know that's his game. He just goes up to chicks like, oh, I'm Drake's daddy. And then, you know, young girls are going to get with him just because they want to meet Drake. So, you know what I mean? That right there, duh. So it's like, why Why did that part offend you, sir? Like, why? They, he could talk to any age he wants to as long as it's legal. It's like, why are you so offended by that? You know what I'm saying? By that part. So I just thought that was funny. But yeah, that was some corny shit. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.